This morning, it looked like the Niners had signed linebacker Eric Kendricks, and we were going to talk about the merits and concerns of this move. Forget it. He decided he would rather sign with the Dallas Cowboys. What a traitor. He was a 49er for a few hours. No, he never was. What do you think of this news? The Niners, the guy they had earmarked to replace Dre Greenlaw, their first choice, I'm assuming, is a cowboy. Yeah, I mean, this is this just kind of highlights that these are the things that happen. And even though things are reported or presumably done, technically nothing is official until today. And things are submitted through the league office. Players can change their mind. Teams can change their mind. Things can happen. And unfortunately, Kendricks decided that the Dallas Cowboys were a better fit for him. And now the 49ers are looking to probably add somebody similar. I mean, everybody wanted Aziz Alshair here, Grant. And Aziz Alshair never made sense. He's young. He wanted a multi-year deal. He's a little bit more expensive. The 49ers timeline is they need a guy to fill in for maybe a year, half a year until Greenlaw's back. And hopefully Greenlaw's back and fully healthy. So a linebacker that's a little bit older, one-year deal type of thing always made sense. I really like the Kendrick signing, but the Kendrick signing is no more, and he is now a Dallas Cowboy, so you can hate him freely, 49ers fans. So I guess the first question is, what are the, how do the Niners pivot? What is plan B here? Man, I don't know. I'd have to relook at the, uh, the free agents that are left. I mean... I know a lot of people have talked about Devin White. I don't know. He's a little bit younger, so I don't know if he would fit the timeline. Maybe he's looking for a one-year deal, career resurgence. Devin White, Devin Bush, Denzel Perryman, Oren Burks. Ooh, Zach Cunningham. He... Perryman. Big How old is Perryman? Juan Alexander. Perryman How about no. Juan? No, he just got hurt again last year. He's all He stays hurt. So, mm. no, absolutely not. Yeah, Perryman might be the guy. Perryman. There we go. There you go. So, Sounds like a good fit. Okay, so that's... Or a draft pick. It could end up being their first-round pick, considering all the work they've done on their defensive line. Well, it could, it, could be, it could be a blessing in disguise, though, Grant, because the, you were at training camp. Tell me if I'm off my rocker. I was only there for five days. I could not believe how good I thought... I mean, Jalen Graham looked like a really, really good player. Like he was going to be, he, he's promising, promising young player. He was an ex-safety, converted to linebacker. We know the 49ers do this with their linebackers. These guys always end up popping. So why not give these young guys a shot? And maybe this forces their hand on it. Graham was the only guy that could consistently cover during the one-on-one -on -one drills. Out of corner safeties, linebackers, he was the only one that could hold his own consistently. And it's very hard to do that because you've basically got half a field to work with and the receivers can run any route that they want. They can do two way goes, whatever. And he was holding his own against guys like Christian McCaffrey, Kyle use He shut down a couple times. So yeah, I mean, maybe this is a blessing in disguise and, and him or winters or somebody else will get their shot. It's pretty diabolical on the Cowboys, uh, part because they allow the Niners to do all the negotiation. You work out some type of a deal with Kendricks, and then they, what they could do is wait for Schefter to announce it, call Kendricks' agent, and say, "Is that is that official yet?" Because we'll we'll make you the same exact offer, but your client will make a lot more money in Dallas. What do you say? No, how do you beat that? that? It's unfair. Yeah. I mean, I would do the same thing. I got no allegiances here. I'm a free agent. I was thinking about being a Niner for a second and a half. Um, don't know much about Santa Clara. Seems cool. Now I'm going to Dallas. Sorry. Well, can we also point this out? Was this not one of Staley's guys? So, I mean, does I, I mean, it's not necessarily an indictment on Staley, but it doesn't look Staley great. Discount. Yeah, I mean, Staley likely was the reason that he was coming or that they kicked the tires on him initially. Ow. And now he just spurned his old head coach. I mean, I don't know. That doesn't look the best, I guess. Well, who's the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys? Mike Zimmer. And he was Eric Kendrick's coach for a long time. So that's true. Multiple leads. It just seems to me that the Niners wanted Kendrick's, thought they had Kendrick's, and now they don't. And it's embarrassing 
I guess that's my final point here on the Kendrick story. Like, good for Kendricks for getting the best deal for him. Good for the Cowboys. And maybe this doesn't really matter. He's an older linebacker and Gregory and all come back and whatever. But this is just kind of embarrassing. Like, you're you're the 49ers. You were the team that almost won the Super Bowl. And you got played in front of everyone. I mean, we'll let it slide this one time. But if it happens again, we're going to have to say something. <laughs> we're going to have to call you out. Yeah, really. On Twitter, we're going to at you, 49ers. <laughs> that's that's when it gets serious. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk. So Eric Kendricks, not a 49er. Maybe, maybe it'll be Fred Warner and a couple of second year red shirts at linebacker, or maybe they'll get Denzel Perryman or they'll draft. I could see him drafting a linebacker with that first round pick. A few days ago, I was adamant that it was going to be a defensive tackle. Before that, I was certain it was going to be a right tackle. Now I'm like, well, their linebacker group, other than Fred Warner, is... That's what it is. Uh, I wouldn't be a fan of a linebacker with that first pick. I think that would be a mistake. You could get Reuben Foster with that pick. (laughs) Well played. played, They did it once. Well played. Would they do it again? I mean, you could trade down... You could get a really, really good linebacker. Actually, I don't know anything about the linebackers in this draft. I should start doing my homework. It's a lot of work to do. I mean, oh, it really God. is. Study film, and it's, it's oh. so much work that goes in. Can't Rich just do it for us and tell us what to think? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rich. So, yeah, we'll see what the people, the good people in the chat think about Eric Kendricks. Eric Kendricks signed just to lose in the first round. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Perfect. 